<clears throat> Hi, and welcome back to Air Engine Research. Today's video is not going to be the same as usual. I spent the day yesterday and last night thinking about what I want to put in my car. So I made a decision. But before I get into that, I want to kind of give the new followers a, an idea of what I've, what I've done and what my plans are. I started about 17 years ago uh, working in my garage. I bought a, a milling and metal lathe combination machine and I started trying to design some kind of a simple and easy to work on air motor that I'd be able to put in my car to replace the gasoline engine. Uh, I worked on it for oh, about three, four years, I guess. And during that time, I started making some videos, you know, just to keep track of what I was doing. decided to go ahead and join YouTube and I started a website called Air Engine Research. That was back in 2010. And over the next uh, seven years, I worked on various different kinds of air motors. You, any, any design I could imagine, I tried and I found that almost all of them would work to some degree. So all together I'm pulling about 525 pounds with my three cylinder air engine. kept at it and finally in 2017 I come up with a design for a six cylinder then the way it operates is it has two plates that are bolted together in the center and one of them has a groove in it that is off center so that's called an eccentric and I've been working on that since 2017. And I finally got it to where I thought it was ready to go. To uh, put it in a car, because I didn't have any to put it in yet. I couldn't afford to just take my motor out of my car and and see if it works. So I waited and in the meantime I come up with another idea using a four cylinder. Well a number of different ideas but this is the, the last design that I came up with. It works but I don't know how effective. The eccentric drive six cylinder that one uses half as much air that's what a crankshaft engine would use. Because the design as it pushes the eccentric, it only goes halfway down to make a complete turn. And this one does basically the same thing, but it's called an orbital. When it comes down, the cylinder doesn't go down past the top of the ring. So it's still only going halfway 
to make one complete revolution. The only trouble is this one uses twice as much air as the six cylinder does, even though it's got less cylinders. It has good torque, but I'm a little bit worried about speed. The six cylinder, it runs much faster and I have no idea as to how to figure the torque on it because of being an eccentric, it doesn't have a crankshaft that you can calculate. So all I know is that it has quite a bit of power and I've decided that I'm going to put the six cylinder. Uh, this doesn't mean that it's done by no means. There's going to be problems putting it in the car, I'm sure. I'll have to find uh, a way to hook up the accelerator and get air to it and where I can put the air tanks. As of yet, I don't have any carbon fiber tanks. I'm not going to buy any until I find out that it has enough power to, to move the car and, and run to at least 40 or 45 miles an hour. Uh, I'll be using scuba tanks pumped up to around 4,500 PSI, which won't go very far, but at least I'll be able to uh, try and see how it operates. And if it goes as I hope it does, then I'll see about purchasing some of those carbon fiber tanks. The uh, only place that I found that I can get it for sure is either buy something from somebody that has some of the uh, CNG or natural compressed gas tanks. But the ones that I've been seeing offered, some of them are laying out in the backyard in a pile of other junk. I don't think I want to trust something like that. Um, Amazon has one that is a 55 liter, but it costs $1,500. Uh, this whole venture has been pretty expensive, actually. I had to purchase a milling machine and a metal lathe, a drill press. I had to guy get a, uh, a paintball compressor that was over $2,000. And I spent a lot of money on, hopefully it'll work. But Today, I'm not going to be doing anything other than just kind of putting some more ideas together of how to hook it up and, and get air to it, have the accelerator and all. I will be making videos as we proceed with putting it in and hooking it up and I'm sure I'll be taking it in and out of the car maybe more than once or twice. I would say that I, I'm, I feel pretty positive about it, but if you would, even though you've never done it maybe before, give me a thumbs up for, for good luck. I'd appreciate that. I'll be kind of anxious to see how many thumbs up I get. So once again, thank you for looking in and for you longtime subscribers, well, maybe you're finally going to get to actually see something that we've been hoping to see over the years. not as fast as it'll go, but I don't want to shake it on here too much. Hopefully it won't shake as much whenever it's in the car. This thing here is not even tightened up or nothing, so it's loose. I mean, you can move it around, so I think it'll do better in the car.